Well, greetings Pisces and welcome to your horoscope. So, yeah. I mean, the worst part about the 12th house transit is we can be part of our own undoing. And I know that. And I can be like that too. No, I mean, don't eat the rich. At least not without cooking them and putting salt and pepper first. No, I, I, I don't know what this eat the rich thing is. It's just, it's, it's just funny to me. I think what it really comes down to is that when you own all these possessions, you don't really own them, they own you. Everything we have is borrowed. When you can live simply, you're the, you're the freest person there is. I know people who like travel Europe with like one outfit, it's like a wash and wear outfit, you know, and they have a wonderful time, you know, it's, they're comfortable. It's freeing, and if they need something else, they can always have that option of getting it. So, it's really Pisces in our emptiness. That's our capacity to receive. So, if you feel like nothing, feel like you don't have anything, you have more. And this week, Venus goes in your first house, so you get some love. Love to that faith you already have. And you really <coughs> look like you're going to kick ass. Because of Mars in the midheaven. But you know how you're kicking ass right now? You're kicking ass with generosity. You're kicking ass with compliments, with gifts to people, with helping people, and with um, increasing a social network that wants to have fun. And so this is making you like the ultimate winner instead of being a whiner. And yeah, there's going to be karma to pay, you know. And there is. And instead of fearing it, just smile at it and say, yeah, I, okay, here you're here for me. I got you. No, I, you know, I, I agree. I agree with you. Maybe own, owning four pieces of four houses might be a little bit excessive, you know. I, I, maybe, you know, having, maybe I don't need to own five vehicles, you know, I, when somebody doesn't have any and they really need one, and they've got children that are hungry to feed. They could use a little lift right now to help their family and to help those who are vulnerable. Um, I, I met this guy, you know, through the internet who had a deformed arm from birth, and then he invented pro prosthetic hands that look really cool and, you know, are kind of like superhero hands and stuff and to make children feel more uplifted. And these are the kinds of things, inventions, and justice that you're going to be working on that's going to be making the world a better place. It's like we can think outside of the box and do something better than the so-called geniuses and the so-called technology, what it has to offer currently. Your imagination is important. It's going to be taking us further in the year of the dog. I want you to keep doing those good things. And plus, you know, Venus in the first house, you're going to get some more love. Everybody wants some love. And um, I want to hear from you. Tell me about your love adventures. Tell me about your justice adventures. And tell me how you're going to make the world a better place in the year of the dog. Right down below. Thank you. Cosmic Kev, signing off.